So guys, meet uh, Felix from Light Source. Felix, how are you? I'm fine, uh, Patrick. How are you? I'm good. Yes. So today we are here because of electrical safety. Yes, yes. Tell us, what do you normally do? Uh, electrical safety inspection involves, um, can be annual or biannual inspection of electrical installations. This is uh, important because uh, it checks the electrical status of the facility just uh, to ensure that all the electrical parameters are uh, within range so that uh, safety of personnel and equipment is guaranteed. So this is an exercise that we've been doing with uh, Avipro. I think this is the third or fourth year that you are doing this exercise and it's always a pleasure being here to conduct this exercise. Good. So tell us, what is electrical safety? Okay, electrical uh, safety, like I've said, um, it involves uh, checking a number of electrical uh, parameters. One of the parameters that uh, is very important in uh, electrical inspection is what you call earth loop impedance. The other aspect that we check uh, is the earth resistance test. Uh, we also do thermographic inspection uh, at the bus bars and cables and uh, MCCBs. This is just to check uh, whether there are any hotspots and uh, how, do, how we can uh, eliminate them before they cause further damage. Uh, we also do, if it allows, we also do insulation resistance uh, test on cables just to ensure that uh, the cables are in good health. I know you have mentioned very, very big terms. <laughs> so let's go one by one. Yeah. So we start from insulation resistance. Yes. What does it mean and what are the values? Uh, insulation resistance, basically it checks that uh, all the insulation, uh, what covers the cable, uh, the PVCs and all that, uh, that it's intact and there's no puncture, there's no point of damage in the cable because uh, if there's puncture in the cable, what will happen is that the phases will short and then that's where we have an explosion somewhere. So this is always a dead test and um, we carry it out using uh, 500 volts uh, DC, we inject into the cable and the results that we expect is uh, one, above one mega ohm. So any reading below one mega ohm shows that that cable has a punch and uh, should be attended to. But any reading above one mega ohm shows the cable is healthy. Thank you. Secondly, let us go to impedance loop test. Uh, at loop impedance, uh, just like the name suggests, it's a loop. Uh, so it basically checks the earthing that has been done from this point all the way to the transformer. What it checks is, uh, in case a fault occurs, what is the likely scenario that is to occur? We, we want, when a fault occurs, eh, the fault current that comes back from the transformer to the panel, it's able enough to trip this breaker. So uh, we have a machine here that checks those uh, measurements. So the measurements should be high enough, uh, higher than the breaker rating, so that uh, when, it, when it comes, when the fault currents uh, come, they come and trip the breaker. So in a nutshell, that's what our loop impedance is. Thermographic test? Uh, thermographic uh, test, uh, for example, uh, we have a machine here that uh, it's able to check the temperature of the cables and, and how tight the connections are. So we check the temperature difference between uh, the ambient temperature and uh, maybe the termination. So if the temperature difference is it's, uh, too large, it shows that uh, there's a hot spot in that section and it needs to be checked. Good, good, good. So we go to, let's start from earth resistance test. What is it? Uh, earth resistance, eh? mm -hmm. um, it's a test that shows the connection between the panel mm -hmm. and the ground. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, important because in, in case of any fault, eh, that current should be able to flow through the earth cable to the ground. Mm -hmm. So the resistance, of, the resistance to the flow of current should be as low as possible. So usually we aim for values of 5 ohms and below. Mm -hmm. But the lower the value, the better. If, if you can even achieve below 1 ohm, the better. So that is uh, a resistance test. Good. Uh, finally, let's talk about RCD test. Okay. Uh, RCDs uh, are meant to protect uh, the end users from electrical shock. Uh, what it does, eh, uh, it checks the outgoing current mm -hmm. and then it compares it with the return current. Eh? Mm -hmm. So if there's any leakage in the circuit, the RCD is able to trip. Mm -hmm. So RCDs uh, have different ratings from 10 milliamps all the way to 500 milliamps. Mm -hmm. So 
that will depend on the sensitivity that you want to achieve. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's basically they are meant to protect you from shock. Let's say, for example, you you touch a circuit that is RCD protected. Mm -hmm. That stray current will flow through your body. Mm -hmm. So the RCD on the other end, it's able to detect that uh, there's a current flowing out of the system. So it trips immediately so that no more current flows through your body. So that's what it does. Good. I know today it's about a thing, a thing, a thing. That is the general safety. I want you to tell the viewers and the electrical practitioners outside there why they need to take attention in doing correct hearthing to systems uh i think is very important eh? uh because uh let's say your panel is not or your system is not at eh? what will happen is in case any fault occurs and you come into contact with that panel eh? it means that stray current will flow through your body and uh, our, our bodies are very delicate, so any stray current that flows through our body it, uh, means it will cause damage, can cause uh, burns, mm -hmm. can even cause uh, death. So uh, apart from that, um, if you fail to earth your systems, what will happen is that uh, your machines uh, will keep on getting damaged, the coils will keep on burning in case of a motor, your electronics will keep on burning. So I think it's just meant to, uh, to channel all the stray currents from the panel or from the equipment all the way to the ground. So it's it's a very important test that ensures safety is maintained within machines. Good. Finally, I want us to do a demonstration. Okay. So what I'll need you to do is actually pick an instrument. Yes. Say this is instrument A and this is what you measure and maybe do a demonstration for our viewers. Okay. So. Uh, we, uh, we want to uh, demonstrate a measurement of earthrope uh, impedance. Okay. So here we have our machine. Uh, it's a Fluke 1653B multifunction tester. It has a... Um, different parameters that can be measured so what you're interested in is measuring uh, loop impedance with high current because we don't have rcds uh, we can measure high current uh, loop impedance so we'll just turn the knob to what you want and then uh, we put the probes on the panel so henry here will help us uh, with that so we have the earth terminal inside the earth terminal so start with the earth henry earth, earth. That's neutral. Eh? Start okay. with the earth. Okay, see here. So that's the earth terminal. Then next we go to the neutral terminal. And then now what we'll be doing, eh? we'll be doing measurements per face. Eh? So this is the meter. So he'll be me doing measurements per face. So Henry, start yes. the red, red face. Test. And then he'll press test. Yeah, so these are the results we're getting. So this is uh, what these results mean is that. Eh? Should there be a fault originating from this circuit, eh? a fault current of uh, a prospective earth fault current, PEFC, of 1.2 kilo ohms, that means 1,200 ohms will flow through this circuit, and the resistance will be 0 0.20 ohms. So what you want is that the resistance should be as low as possible so that this current is able to trip our isolator. So our isolator rating in this case, eh, it's um, 100 ohms. It's it's here, it's, uh, it's 100 amps. So it means this current of 1,200 amps is, is high enough to come and trip our isolator in case a fault occurs. So these are very good reading that you're getting. So uh, you can't explain. Uh, okay, so the next test that we're going to do is a thermographic inspection. Uh, what you have here is a Fluke multifunction tester. It's a Fluke TI-125 thermal imager. That's the model of the camera. And it was recently calibrated uh, by KEBS, so it means uh, whatever you are getting has been certified by KEBS. So what we'll do, uh, we'll focus on our point of interest. So in this case, it's our, it's our distribution board. So we'll focus on the distribution board. And um, this is how, so we'll scan for any hotspot that, that is there. So in this case, we don't have any hotspot. Uh, to have our recordings, we'll just uh, take a photo of it, and then we'll edit. And then I'll add audio for my own when I'm doing the when I'm doing a result uh, tabulation, and then I'll save the image. So that's how we do loop impede. We, we do the other, we do thermographic inspection. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, what is important here? Uh, 
so what is important here is it's the temperature difference eh? we can see 27.5 is the highest and 22.5 is the lowest so the temperature difference shouldn't be very high we have uh, categories of uh, temperature difference eh? so the higher the difference it means the more severe that uh, hotspot is so we have a chart that we do uh, use to compare the temperature variations if the variation is very high it means uh, that hotspot has to be attended to as soon as possible if it's low it means uh, uh, it's not very urgent, but still, it has to be uh, it has to be attended. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good. So we are to add resistance test. So basically, you had given us the principle. And I can see you have made some spikes. Yes, so yes. what what are you exactly doing? Um, over here, uh, we want to measure earth resistance. Eh? Yes. So we have our machine here. It's uh, the same same machine. <coughs> it's a fluke multifunction tester. So we've turned the knob to earth resistance uh, functionality. So we have our voltage spike. It's uh, the first spike. Then we have our current spike, the other side. So basically the machine uses the principle of uh, V is equal to IR to calculate the resistance mm -hmm. of the ground. Mm -hmm. um, the method that we are using currently is called uh, follow-up uh, potential. So it's one of the methods used in uh, measuring earth resistance. We have um, our current spike, it's at the very end. We have our voltage spike here and then our point of interest of measurement, it's our earthing point which is inside. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can come inside to show them. Our these are our earthing point. Uh, we want to get the, res the resistance of this point. So we'll go back to the machine and uh, do the measurement. And then we just press test and wait for the results. So like I said earlier, uh, results of 5 ohms and below are uh, desirable, but if it can get lower, it's even better. So in our case, the resistance of this uh, connection is 2.4 ohms, which is uh, uh, favorable. Uh, because we want it as low as possible. So this is a good reading for earth resistance. Thank you so much, uh, Felix from LightSource okay. for, for your good work. Okay, okay. It's definitely amazing that you have taken us through this. So I want you to sign up. I want you to sign out. And uh, I want to give you an assignment first. Yes. Tell them why it is important to do this test annually. Yes. Then I'll give you the second assignment. Okay, uh, it's important to do annual electrical inspections because all systems degrade uh, with time. Eh? You find uh, after some time, maybe your breaker contacts are not as good as they were before. You find the insulation of the cable over years, it goes down. You find your earth resistance after some time, um, it gets um, poor and you need to twist the earth pit. So um, you, you need to constantly check this system so that any area where there is uh, deficiency, you are, you are now able to uh, correct it as soon as possible before any damage occurs. So that's the importance of annual inspection. Good. So, uh, Felix, yes. I know these people will be looking for you. Okay. And uh, you are a good professional in this. You have been around five, more than five years, eh? yes. doing the same yes. work. So tell them your contacts, your email, in case they want to get you, and uh, about light source. Okay, uh, at Lexos uh, we do a number of electrical works. We do one of them, it's uh, electrical safety inspection. We also do energy audits. We also do just general maintenance works. Uh, apart from that, we also do a bit of uh, electrical design in terms of solar and building services. So that's, uh, that's our key business. So our contact, our email is info at lightsource.co.ke and Lightsource is L-Y-G-H-T. It's light with a Y. That's how I always uh, say. Then our contact number is uh, 0743 Asante sana, Felix, okay. for your good time. Thank you, Virginia.